<laughs> hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome! Got my OG sausage t-shirt on. Feels great. Great to be back. Today, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be testing the new Huda Beauty Glow Wish. Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. We have the multi dew skin tint and we have the soft radiance bronzing powder and when i saw these i got quite excited because i like what i assume is low coverage i think this is going to be low coverage that's what i'm really into these days i love a bronzer we're going to test it out i've also got a couple of brushes and i've got all the bump so i'm really going to quickly read sorry what this is supposed to be about and then we're going to pop it on it's already launched it will be 32 pounds and the brush which looks like this that can't be to apply it is it that is going to be 27 pounds this is available in 13 stretchable shades a luminous moisture packed skin tint that instantly blurs and brightens for a radiant soft focus and dewy finish sheer coverage is super blendable and literally gives you second skin vibes it's perfect to use every day and we love the fuss free application Apply with our new Custom Cut Face Airbrush Finish Complexion Brush. It's vegan, made with synthetic fibres and creates an airbrush finish with natural buildable coverage. Okay. 92.6% uh, naturally derived, derived ingredients. Fragrance free, good. Waterproof, transfer proof and non-comedogenic. Infused with sustainably sourced red bell pepper extract, Damascus rose oil and plant derived squalene. Ve vegan, never tested on animals. Tube made with 25% PCR material, which is um, recycled. And a carton made from FSC paper, which is 100% recyclable. So apparently it's like recyclable. Uh, but the tube, I don't know if that is, is made from recycled packaging. And then this is fully recyclable because it's just paper or card. I like the packaging, it's very simple. Um, the lid, I mean, you won't be able to see it, but it's kind of like pearlescent white. It's really pretty. The box is pretty. Um, you get how many? 40 mils. So 10, 10 mils more than a, like a normal foundation. I picked the shade 01 Fair to keep. They sent me the three lightest shades and the other two I'm going to send off to a couple of my sausages. Um, so we're going to try this shade. It might not work, but it might. And on one half of my face, I am going to prime it with my favourite primer, which is my Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to do it on this side. This side, I'm not going to prime, and I do, if you can see, I've got a massive spot coming. Uh, so I'm going to zoom us in, and we're going to try all this on. And just have an excellent time, I hope. I'll obviously show you my makeup and stuff in, like, nice natural lighting and that. I've actually got mostly natural lighting right now, although my ring light is on. It's just so sunny. I'm using my It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation Brush, which Teresa and Anne-Marie got me as a present, and it is so wunderbar. I love it so much. <sighs> okay, other side has got nothing on it. I moisturised about two hours ago. Um, let's get into it. So, give it a wee shake, and I'll put it on this prime side first. Oh, it's got a pump. That's nice. I like that. Two pumps. Blending out really easy with this brush. It looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, from a distance. Over for the Charlotte Tilbury. Like that glow. The shade is actually pretty darn good for me as well. Wow. I can't believe that shade on me. It's really good. I'm going to take one more pump for this part of my face and also my forehead because I feel like those two did a lot. But I just need a wee bit more. It is blending over unprimed perfectly as well. Oh, that spot is looking a bit... I can't believe I'm getting a big spot. I've not had a big spot in like a very long time. So far just from looking like in my monitor, which is like... I'm really bad at distances. 
an arm's length away from me. My skin is looking stunning, um, especially over the Charlotte Tilbury. Like it just looks so glue, <laughs> gluey, glossy and dewy. And uh, I really like this brush. I actually, when I opened this brush and took it out of the packaging, I thought, oh, I could use that for like cream contour, which I totally could, but it is actually blending this out really nice. My eyes are a bit stained from yesterday playing with my Solf palette. Wow, that looks really pretty. Let me get a mirror. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. See, even over the unprimed, like over the not Charlotte Tilbury, I still think I do have a bit of glow. I definitely have a bit of glow, I can see it. Um, It's not covering up that spot in any way, shape or form. I can still see my like moustache, my white moustache area. But if I zoom you in a bit, it does look so far like a second skin. Like, that's the Charlotte Tilbury side, just for clarification. This is the non primed side, so yeah, that spot's still there. A wee bit of concealer though, I mean, sometimes with a spot that bad, like a Mount Vesuvius here, um, you know, you just have to grin and bear it for a few days until it disappears. So I'm not going to hold that against it because it's a, a sheer formula. I feel like I've got cat hair on my face. Oh, I really like that. It's very sheer. I would say even more sheer than my Fenty Easy Drops, which is what I've been using every single day when I've not wanted to put a lot of makeup on. I might put on like a tiny bit more just with my sponge. Like, let's say like one pump more with a sponge and just see if I can build it up just a wee bit. Just on like my cheek area, mostly in my nose and stuff. See, even on this unprimed, it's so glowy and lovely. If this though is the lightest shade, then you're gonna struggle if you're paler than me. And there are people paler than me, like Teresa's paler than me. Um, but I would say on the whole, it does match like pretty well. That second layer has blended with my sponge beautifully. No problems. I would say it's offered a tiny bit more coverage. Oh! Look at that sheen. What about this side? I mean, I can't actually see now because the monitor's over there, but... Right, I'm liking this so much so far, which is a surprise because I tried Huda's foundation recently and I hated it so much I immediately gave it away to a friend because I thought it was disgusting. Um, so... Why? Okay, I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup. Blah 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 blah. We'll come back and we will try the bronzer. I just don't have that much time because I want to go out and about and do stuff so I can come back later and check in with you so I can wear it for a long time. So yeah, we'll come back and we'll try this and then we will have our thoughts, I guess. I've concealed and put some powder on. I wasn't gonna, but I decided to just because I know I'm going out on a boat today and I don't want to have wet makeup. Well, I will, but anyway. We're gonna move on to the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. This says, available in five universal shades, a beautiful light as air bronzer that instantly adds warmth to take you from a natural sunkissed glow to a more contoured look in just a few swipes. Velvety, creamy and super buildable, this radiant formula applies like silk and the blurring pigments blend so seamlessly it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. Not that I ever feel like I'm wearing bronzer, but anyway. Apply with our new Face All Over Bronze custom designed brush. It's vegan and picks up the perfect amount of products. 90% naturally derived ingredients, fragrance free, transfer proof, non-comedogenic. Has shea butter, vitamin E, plant derived squalene, sustainably sourced red bell pepper and Damascus rose oil. Vegan. Compact made with 30% PCR and carton with is 100%. Recyclable, there's so many words. I'm going to use shade one. This is what the packaging looks like. It's like a little disc and then it has this on it. I did dip my finger in it because I couldn't help it. That is shade one and it honestly looks pretty ideal for me. I'm very pale so I'm hoping it works. This is the brush um, and we'll see how it goes. That is a nice colour. 
It's actually a really nice colour on me. Uh, I'm not much a fan of this brush so far. It feels a bit too firm. It's not a horrid brush. I just, I'm just so used to my Jaclyn Hill Morphe one that's so soft and swooshy. Um, yeah, I like it. It's just a good bronzer. I'm not, say, I'm not looking at it going, what? <laughs> I've never, you know, seen anything quite like it. Um, it's just a nice bronzer. Um, but in my honestness, I I always prefer high-end bronzers to drugstore ones. I just always think they're better. Um, see, oh, see, this is my Jaclyn Hill brush. And I much see it. Oh, it's so soft. Blends easy over the top of this. Colour's great. If you're pale, I think this will work for you. Even if you are... Even if you're like Teresa pale, I think this would still work for you. Um, it's just nice. Blends out nice. Looks nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased that this is going so well. Right. Now I'll go and finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do something very, very simple and then I will come back and we will debrief and then I'll go away and we will see how it holds up throughout the day. So far I'm really, really pleased with how my base is looking. It looks lovely and I mean I'm going out with Greg and some of his friends that I've never met before and I feel like confident and like, like I look nice and not like worried about you know how I'm looking so yeah, I'll be back in a moment and we will finish. <laughs> okay, quickly before my battery runs out, I've finished off all the rest of my makeup. If you're wondering, my lipstick is Dose of Colours. Bittersweet, I love it so, 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 so much. And my highlighter is actually, where'd I put it? It's a new soft one. Sugar frosting. So pretty. Yeah, that's my makeup done. I am going to go away. I think I'm going out on a boat and uh, I'll come back in a few hours and see how my makeup looks. It is only two o'clock now. Um, I know I'm starting this late but what whatever, it's fine. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in a few hours and we'll see how it's holding up. I'm really excited. I'm not going to touch it from now on and I'm not going to use any setting spray or anything. So I'm very pleased with how the base looks. I did some full freckles which I should have done before I powdered but anyway. Um, apart from the full freckles, I think my base is looking so good. And if you're wondering, oh, these lashes are Eyler 117s. They're my favourite, like, natural lash. So, yeah, I will go out and about and I will come back in a few hours and we'll see how it's held up. But so far, very pleased. I thought I should show you my makeup, like, in the sunlight. It's so sunny and lovely. That's why I'm going on a boat. Um, I don't know if that's going to pick it up. I think it looks really, I'm so happily surprised. Is it really messy now? Yeah, a little bit. I'm so happily surprised by how good it looks, to be quite honest, so, so far so good. Like, really good, very pleased. Anyway, I'm gonna take my camera with me and uh, we'll see how it holds up. Let's do it. Well, the plans have changed, and there's someone sitting staring at me. The plans have changed, and we're now no longer going on the boat because it's too choppy on the water but I thought I did check him because it's actually been quite a long time <laughs> I'm just sitting watching Elphick event ponies the time is now oh my goodness it's been a very long time what time did we start like two-ish hey that's pretty good going for me to be quite honest I'm actually sitting in Dumbarton McDonald's just finished a Big Mac meal which is why my lipstick's kind of rubbed off which is a bit of a shame but in terms of the makeup, it's still looking good and uh, I'm very pleased with it. I don't have a better mirror to look at, hold on. That's actually, it's glorious. Like that stuff is so nice, I can't believe it. I feel like um, I was only using my Fenty Easy Drops because I love them so much and now I have a bit of a replacement. And I would lift up the camera and show you closer, but there's a girl in a car parked right beside me and she is now taking a picture of me. Or she's just taking a video, I don't know, it's really embarrassing. Probably because I'm sitting here with a camera. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you in a few more hours, see how it holds up. Well, hold on, can you see? That's the spotty, unprimed side. There's so many people around 
and then that's the primed side. I just think it looks so nice. Don't look at my lipstick though. What is this, the historic town of, Greg? This is a very popular yet minuscule uh, village of Luss. Wow. Any facts you want to depart? Um, this street here used to be the set of a Scottish soap opera called Take the High Road. Never heard of it. No. Um, it is owned by Luss Estates, which is comprised of Sir Malcolm Cahoon, he's the head of the clan Cahoon, uh, and his son Patrick uh, runs the estate along with another gentleman whose name is me at the moment. I think the most important question is though, how does my makeup look? It looks absolutely fantastic. Are you just saying that for the for the video? No. Okay. You look smashing. Smashing. Well, what was the first thing I said to you when I saw you? You said I look good. It's like you walked towards me and I said, wow. These gorgeous wee houses. This is Scotland for all of my lovely foreign viewers. Americans, Australians, the Swedish, the Finnish. Anyway, this is a video about makeup, but I had to show you this. Myself. This is probably the longest wear test I've done in a while. It's now four minutes past midnight, way past my bedtime. I haven't obviously touched my makeup. Let me get a mirror. Um, as you can tell by my lips, which you know what, that hasn't stayed on that bad considering I've eaten like drunk tea and juice and stuff. Yeah, this looks really good. I had uh, sunglasses on, which what those marks are. And it's uh, settled into my smile lines, but it's 10 hours later, so I'm not really like annoyed at it on my forehead. Mm, it's very bright, hold on. Like, I think it looks pretty decent on my forehead. I have wrinkles, so it's just natural that things are gonna sit in there. Uh, it looks good under my eyes. It looks good on my, I actually haven't had a mask on because I've not been inside anywhere that I needed to wear one, so. I've not like been able to test that, but it's not rubbed off. It looks great. My highlight is still poor, but that's the sofa one again. Greg said, your skin looks lovely. And he said, your highlight is so pretty. So it's kind of like a 10 out of 10 so far. <laughs> like I'm, I was thinking about this on the car drive back from Glasgow. I think I like this more than my Fenty Easy Drops. One, you get more product. Two, I feel like it's a much more luminous finish um, and three I feel like it's lasted a bit better on my skin so far so yeah I mean so far this is really nice and I really like it and on first impressions I'm very impressed um, yeah you'll have to tell me what you think down in the comments if you are gonna pick it up or not it is quite expensive but it's Huda and also you need to remember that you get what is that, a third more product than other foundations, you do get 40 mils, so you're getting a lot more bang for your buck, realistically. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased, I'm also very tired, if you can't tell, so I am going to piss off, I will obviously keep using this and trying it out. Um, the bronzer, are you okay? The bronzer is still visible as well, I think. Come and see me. But yeah, I'm going to piss off, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please take a big thumbs up, it really does help me out. Uh, leave me a comment down below, tell me what you think of this foundation and bronzer. I kind of forgot about the bronzer, but um, the foundation is just a wee bit more exciting, really. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week. And yeah, I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. I'm going to take my makeup off and then eat some Doritos in bed. So, sounds pretty good to me. You want to see me? Yeah, I hope I catch you on the flip side. Bye! See you.